what's going on everybody this is your girl crunk girl 7-eleven and i am in packs right now i am in packs i'm in boston right now in the hotel room with this big head over here typing right now oh my god <laughs> y'all hear near in the background over here typing doing some some work shit but anyways enough about her we ain't gonna talk about her. we're gonna talk about packs and i know y'all probably wondering like yo i like the old shit i'm at packs when is the next video? So, I'm going to be putting up uh, stuff all this week. Nothing but pack shit. So, um, I'm just going to show y'all what I saw, man. Um, I saw Evolve. Evolve was there from um, Turtle Rock Studios. I actually got to play that. Um, Borderlands was there, which was dope. Because y'all remember last time I went, Borderlands 2 was there. Um, it was a uh, Borderlands pre-sequel that was there. Um, let me see what else did we get to play. A bunch of indies. I mean, like shit, a shit ton of indies. It was more indies there than there were AAA games. Some would say it's probably because they're waiting for E3, but I just think indies are just get big as hell. Um, and I played, a, I actually played a lot of good uh, indies. Actually, one of them I got to play, I think, was a really good game. Probably my top three or four games I played while I was at PAX. And y'all will see that interview coming soon. I'm probably gonna post it on the She Attack TV website, so y'all look out for that. Um, let's see what else do we do? We had a we had a good freaking first time at PAX as media. Me and Nia did our thing. We got a bunch of interviews coming y'all way. Heck yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff coming we for y'all. So uh, uh, Astro Gaming was there. Turtle Beach was there. Um, the the same the people that um are making Evil Within Evil Within was there. Um, Wolfenstein was there. It was playable. I didn't get to play it though because we was just mad busy. Didn't get a chance to play it. Street uh, Street Fighter Ultimate, um, that was there also, and I got footage of that, so I'm going to be showing y'all that. Um, what else? Uh, Don't Starve, for people who have the PlayStation 4 who have played the crack that is Don't Starve, um, they actually have a DLC coming. that they. This is the first time they were showing it at PAX, uh, played that. Um, also, look out for an interview from um, me and them. Uh, and shouts out to Jack Moo Johnny, because I got him some collectibles, too. I love you, man. I love you. Uh, He's all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Jack Moo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else did we play, man? It was so much stuff at PAX, man. It was ridiculous. Um, I really don't know. Like, what else? It was a bunch of shit, yo. Like, it was fucking crowded as hell, like always. Um, like, the last time I went, it was ridiculous. It was lines... Like, i tell you, like, the I think the longest lines I saw was, like, fucking League of Legends was there. That shit was huge. Uh, uh, shit. It was a, a Wild, Wild Star, or I forgot the name of the game, how you, how, it's an MMO. Yeah, Wild Star. I've never heard of that game, but that was freaking, that line was long. They had, like, the biggest thing in there, like, when it comes to, um, how you set up your shit for the show. They had the biggest freaking, um, thing. Um, let me see, Microsoft was there. I think they had KI there, and they had a couple other titles. I think they had Titanfall there too. Titanfall was there, playable. And I think, if I'm not for sure, they released uh, the actual DLC is coming in May for Titanfall. I don't know if they had that playable or not, because we didn't get a chance to go over there and even play it, because the line was just stupid long. Um, Sony was there a little bit. Uh, they had a Sony community was there. They were giving away some games and DLCs and stuff like that. Um, the evil within, oh my god, the, like that's the first thing we saw when we got there, like when you first went down the escalator and looked up at that big old monitor they had up top, like the evil within looks incredible, that's probably going to be a game that I ain't no probably, I'm buying that day one, um, I'm not a huge survival horror, and this scaredy cat over here probably going to run when Shogi will uh, buy it, she going to go in the other room and be scared. Which one? The Evil Within. That's if he gets it. He well, gonna he get might, it. He might. That he already said that game looked good though. He's good in it. I, he said uh, he was gonna get it. I won't be in the room. You heard her right. She ain't gonna be in the room. <laughs> nah, but anyways, she said she ain't gonna be in the room. But the Evil Within looks incredible, yo. Especially on that big screen. I don't know if that's how actual gameplay is gonna look, but from the gameplay they showed us, if it's real gameplay, it's gonna look amazing. Um, and talking about gameplay. Watch Dogs was there. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Watch Dogs was there. Oh, Jesus. Um, it looked okay. It It's okay. 
I'm still not impressed <laughs> by um by many. I'm not impressed at all. Um, they showed new hands off footage, but they're coming out in like what a month, and they have not let anybody play it. They are not going to put out a demo, so we are basically winging it if we buy it. I'm not winging it. I'm not buying it. I pre-ordered it because I wanted a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to cancel that pre-order <laughs> like ASAP. I'm canceling that motherfucker. I, nah. I'm going to wait till some reviews come out. And also, I'm going to wait till I actually see the game in its entirety. How it looks, how it plays, and everything like that. Revi and, and let me say this for anybody trying to play me. I do not go, up, go buy reviews solely on reviews. I just see what they say about the game. And actually, they be showing gameplay and stuff like that. They talk about what they like, what they didn't like, and then I make my own assumptions on if I'm gonna buy it or not. And also, I watch a whole bunch of gameplay and watch other people play it on Twitch and stuff like that to make my decisions to see if I'm gonna play it. Cause the, the, nobody makes me buy a game. I buy a game cause I wanna buy it. Um, let me see what else Ubisoft had there. Cause they had a bunch of games there. The only game I didn't get to see was Child of Light, which is a game I actually did want to see. Um. They had the crew there. The crew looked incredible. That game looked good. Um, and that game, I actually might get day one. Because I'm, if y'all didn't know, I'm like a Midnight Club, like, fiend. Like, Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition is in my top five games of all time. I love that game. Because of the customization. And the crew has incredible customization. You can do almost anything to that dang on car. So, I'm probably going to get the game just because I love customization and the car racing and stuff. Um, I think that's pretty much it, man. I had a ball, had so much fun. Uh, actually met iPod King Carter, as y'all saw in the other video. Um, my boy Malik Foreplay, if y'all don't know him, real dope. Check him out on YouTube. Um, who else did I meet here? Um, and uh, some of my She Attack buddies were here. They, the girls, they're right for the site with me. Um, shouts out to Gabby. Shouts out to Crystal, who is a kitty on a leash who has a YouTube. Um, they both came to PAX, uh, and all of us met up and everything like that for the first time. So that was real dope, too. Um, let me see, what else? Who else did I meet this weekend? My boy Hip Hop Gamer. Shouts out to my boy Hip Hop. You know what I'm saying? I love you, my dude. My uh, boy Black Bible, a.k.a. M1 Pierman from GamerFitNation.com. Shouts out to him. Um, my boy Greg Laporte, uh, also GamerFit. Um, my boy Carl, shouts out to Carl, uh, and who else, man, it was, it was a bunch of people, man, uh, just shouts out to everybody, man, who we met, uh, today that I didn't know, actually, I got noticed and stuff like that, I felt all good, it was like, you crunk girl, I'm like, yeah, I'm crunk girl, how you know me, oh, you, I watch your YouTube, oh, thank you, you know what I'm saying, and somebody knew my real name, you know how you, people knowing your real name, you like, yo, you don't know me, and then you say my real name, I'm like, you know me, how you know me, so, and they knew me from She Attack, so I felt special. I, I was all humbled and stuff like that. I was feeling all good inside, but yeah. Anyways, that like my impressions is PAX is it was incredible. I had a ball. I saw it from a different side. I saw it from the media side, which is fantastic because you always want to see it from both sides. It's when you're in this business, it's all the way different from being just a regular fan. But I enjoyed every minute of it, man. And I can't wait to go to my next whatever I go to, E3, PAX, Comic-Con, it don't even matter. I just want to just be a part of the shit because it's amazing. So anyways, look out for a lot more videos, a lot more footage, Evolve, Borderlands, um, interviews, NVIDIA, all kinds of stuff, man. A lot of stuff is coming. Check out my site. Che I mean, check out my site. Check out my YouTube. If you're checking it out right now, stay tuned. This whole week, I'm going to be dropping stuff. Check out SheAttack.com for articles and stuff like that from my girl, Video Game Her. And also check out the YouTube page, SheAttack.com. Oh, SheAttackTV. Sorry. YouTube.com slash, <laughs> slash SheAttackTV. I'm sorry. <laughs> Put, get me on point. Anyways, this is your girl, Crunk Girl 711, and I'm out. I'll. And now we got a category on.